What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of the PSG Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily uploads on the channel from FM. Also, I said on Sunday, I think Sunday's going to be my day off day. Every day apart from Sundays, I'm going to say. Down below, let's play channel down below as well. Go check it out. Uh, Jedi 4 is on there. Resident Evil 4 coming up as well. So, today, Messi is on the screen because there's nothing else to do to show you at this point, really. Um, just one of those things where nothing really so much happened. But the games have changed because the teams we're playing today are second and third in the league. So, it makes sense to show those games. So, gets off camera. There's only one to show, really, but let's have a look at it. And it's a Champions League game against Genk 1-4-0. Took a while to get... It wasn't a great performance, a bit sluggish, but we got there in the end. And the first goal was key, then we are comfortable after that. But we never really looked like we could see in the goal, really, at that point. Um, but we're top of the group. Obviously, Chelsea right behind us. I got... In theory, you're looking at the group stage, you think that's how the group stage is going to end up, really, don't you? Of course, Chelsea games will be, will be tricky. They'll be, they'll be a decent side. I've also kept my, kept my United score. If I, keep, if I keep glancing up like this, because I've got the scores on the from here, keep on, on United score, because it's not on TV, because I don't have the access to the IPTV, because I don't I don't like doing that. I prefer to do it the original way. So, yeah, so today's, games, so today's games are against Marseille and Nice, because they are literally second and third in the table. So... Sticking the key highlights, guys, until I get feedback otherwise. Um, I'm going to stick on it for now because I think it, it helps me edit a bit more. Um, and it can get through games quicker and get more get episodes out for you guys. Um, so we're going with that team today. I rotated it slightly for the um, game game. I think the draw in the league that was no nil was simply down to the fact we had leggy players. So I rotated a bit more. Uh, they, had a week, they had a week's rest because I thought the game game, I thought I can probably rotate in that game. Um, Gank's probably, you know, a team that I can not take lightly. But I can rest and hopefully get a good result from that. So we've only drawn one game this season, which is disappointing. But overall, we're playing really, really well. I'm just not sure whether to keep the very attacking thing on or not. At the moment, it's on very attacking. I just don't know whether that's going to cause fitness problems or not. Again, thoughts down the comment section on that. McQuinos, can we bring it? Early goal be nice here. Since she's got the ball to bring it down. Can you find a press? He's been brought down. I'm not sure. That's a well, he's run for the penalty. Um, my interview reaction was not sure. It looks like he's done the thing where he's just he's gonna give it no penalty. Didn't think it was, didn't think it was. Um, but anyway, that's it, would have been though, wouldn't it? We've gone from a team who can free, go free scoring to not be able to do anything the last two league games, which is very concerning. Just we just don't seem to be creating enough. Asensio swings out right to Muslera. Got options, but he's found Mendes with a bit of fortune there. For to Mbappe, and there's the goal, but I think he's offside. I wasn't looking at Mbappe, so I think he's offside. Based on our VAR, call, VAR calls at the moment, not going our way at the minute. They were going our way in early in the season, but not so much now. And goal award is giving it. I wasn't sure because I wasn't, I wasn't looking at Mbappe, but a bit of fortune here. It falls from Muslera, gets the ball taken off him, but then Mendes gets there first. Early ball in. Oh, he's well onside. I think actually it might have also come off defending the way through as well, which kind of helped the angle of the pass. Wouldn't it against Marseille? It's not been a great performance. So how close was he? Was it? Was he? So when the ball comes in here. Yeah, I know that bit. Let's have a look at the defender. I do. Maybe he doesn't get a touch. It looks like he got touched. Up. Maybe he didn't get a touch to it. But it looks like it's going to be half time. One nil up. Again, this is the problem with extended highlights. Is key highlights is this can happen um, where you don't have uh, many highlights to show you. So. This is the, the trade-off. Maybe we do free games if it's, some, if it's something like this. If I, if I don't think it's long enough. Or maybe we just say, it's a short video. Go with that. It's key highlights. We see where it goes. If it's short, it's short. If it's longer, it's longer. Uh, that could be what that could be what, what, what we could do. Don't force down in the comment section, of course. Still no. It's literally the next, the next highlight. And yeah, we're just not at the same. We're just not at the same level anymore. We just seem to be just slacking off. I think the very attacking thing is causing this problem. I think we need to get that off. I think it's just going to be too. It's causing causing our legs to our legs to kind of go quite quickly in the game. So let's get Neymar on. 
Uh, let's get Lorente on for coming. No, actually, maybe not. Um, yeah, go with that. I think maybe very attacking is a bad idea to go long term. I think that's what's causing problems with our, with our, with our, with our fitness is, is this because of the whole like going full out. Maybe attacking should be what we should go with consistently, and maybe that's what's causing issues with the with the performances now. Now there's more games coming up. You're playing football kicking in. That could be what's that. It could it, it can't help. Um, Having, I don't know, but we'll see. I keep on attacking and just see where we go, how that goes. Um, Neymar, the second goal would be nice. Oh, Neymar's just not good enough, is he? He just doesn't perform any any point in any match so far. Eric Bay, obviously stayed at my, obviously stayed at stayed at Marseille. I don't know what we're waiting for. You get on with it again. You can see where he's going to play that ball. He's looking at the pass. Why in the football we working out? Clear it. Don't do passes in the penalty area like that. Get get it clear. But yeah, we're not playing well at the moment. What a ball that could be. I think, I think he's offside though. I think he's offside. Yeah, he is. There he's, yeah, he's, he's offside. Well, not the best performance on the planet, but it's a win and a clean sheet. I mean, it's just, I think the legs in the in the team are going a little bit. So we're going to just, uh, I'm going to say a nice win. Keep the morale high. I don't want to be having a go at them for a win. Clean sheet and a win. I don't want to complain too much about that. I think we've got to take very attacking off. I think yeah, it helps with the pressing, I think. But I think it's actually doing us more harm than good with our fitness. Um, unless you think guys will take him more often, could but I don't want to take too much because I want to keep us a, a, a consistent team. And I'm attending the press conference more often now. I just feel like it's when I win, I'm positive. When I lose, I'm negative. Um, that's the where I'm going. Where I'm going with it. So, yeah, next game in four days' time against Nice. Hopefully, we play better than this game. All right, folks. Match number two, and we're gonna go with the same team again. Uh, I've just changed it. I'm going to change the overall mentality of attacking. Um, obviously, Junji can't play today, so we're going to bring in Verratti for because he's suspended, so he can't play, obviously. But then Billy's back fit, but he's on for 45 minutes. I like to have him 75 minutes available. Um, but I'm going to keep him on the team for now, anyway. I'm not going to play him. Um, not long term, obviously, just while he gets his fitness back. I mean... Ideally, you you get four or five up in this game, bring him on. But I'd rather not have a player on the bench who, if I, my worry is, if I get an injury to a right winger and then suddenly he has to come on, I'm just worried about him re, 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 getting recurring his injury. Whereas he was like ten minutes to go, it's like or twenty minutes to go, and like four nil, I can bring him off the bench um, with at my choosing. So here we go, then, folks. Nice playing four four two. I'm not, you know, I hate this formation to play against, but let's see how we get on today. Messi with a corner kick, curls it in. Cleared. Muslera. Messi. Cuts inside. Hits it. It's in. That's more like it, Messi. Nice nil. Um, PSG won. And it's Lionel Messi with absolutely thunderbastard um, in the back of the net. Wasn't sure what he was going to do. What, what he was going to do here. The corner is not the greatest in the world. Uh, but then we recruit well with, with Muslera. He then finds Messi with a nice first little touch to take it out of his feet and then bends it right into that side netting in the top corner and it's 1-0 I mean I don't know why we're taking a, we're taking an offside call here oh Messi fair. I was going to say what, who, on who Messi obviously I thought maybe from a shot that guy was offside maybe but 1-0 great start second goal would be nice now wouldn't it not for them though Don Rumor does really well in the air doesn't he me, I say this now. Now I've said this now. He'll drop a clanger uh, at some point, but I don't recall Don Rumor dropping a, dropping a ball yet in this series. I could be wrong. I don't recall it happening. It may have been off like, in a game I didn't watch, but it's not it's not happened in the games that I've watched myself. What a ball that is! Up his phone goal. Surely a goal for him, and it is lovely finish. Nice nil. PSG two. And it's a lovely controlled finish from him. He's so good up front. I mean, I think they did the right thing keeping Ronaldo. That was a backup for now, and investing with areas of the team. But essentially, we're here into the space, nice control, and the composure from Mbappe. And there's the second goal we didn't get against Marseille, and hopefully now oh, some of the goals going in. I'm trying to keep down three things at the moment here. Um, how close was he been offside? Nowhere near. Well, nowhere near in relative, in relative terms. But lovely finish from Mbappe, 2-0. That's the key goal. We weren't, we weren't getting them, we weren't getting those earlier last season. We we're getting them late in games. This is the point that we drew a game drew a game earlier because that means we could have been really far clear, further clear if we, if we won this game today. A key ball in the box, five post was with Slayer. I don't know why Mendy's not trying to get that ball. Maybe he thought he was going wide. But we, we, we're doing, we're forcing him to do that today, which we weren't doing previously. 
uh, in the against Marseille and other teams. We weren't forcing these long balls and clearances that were panicked. Mendes came from the cross. Now we're coming in the penalty area. I don't know what I, I, I I'm guessing it's just again Vratti go no that's poor from you Vratti you're better than that. Case in point, he's just doing it there. Down the line. Again, the pass was on early, Vratti. I do feel at times in this formation, they do want to hold the ball a bit too much in those situations, but generally, the static, the static works really well anyway. What a ball to essentially that is. Oh, what a finish. Surely, yes. The ball out wide was brilliant. The ball down the line was fantastic. And the and the compo and the awareness to become Mbappe, perfection. Uh, it needs to know PhD3. This ball here is brilliant from kind of Inter Again, I want to point this out, though. Look at the fullback completely on mark. I call it, I call it happens in my favour as well. And there's a sense show. First time ball. Mappy gambles there. Forgets the first easy finish. And I could have played in billion now, couldn't I? I guess with minutes on the bench for him. But you know what? I'm having to just get, just get the wins rather than worry about fitness of players when he didn't really need to fear in this game, does he really? Um so um happy with the number of shots, yeah, keep it going. Uh I'm just I always say at half time when it's like 1 0, 2 0, 3 0. I'm always erring on the side of being composed but I'm worried I'm thinking that maybe if I keep saying the same thing it loses its effectiveness maybe a little bit but then if I don't say it they, they get slack so I was like saying that I like to see 90 minutes of performance not they say all the way through for 100% but like not like 100% first half like 45% second half and that's going to be the goal as well <laughs> that's needs to know PhD 4 that's more like this more like it um Muslera has been a great I prefer Muslera to Neymar but I was looking to sell Neymar in the summer window because of the whole, like, he scored lots of goals last season thing. Um, but this ball here, did it take a deflection way through? No, it didn't defend him with the clanger. 4-0, um, game over now. And this is the point where you start looking at maybe making changes to rest players. Another highlight straight away here. It's, I see, like, it's not key highlights. I mean, a lot of highlights in this game. So I think this is a good way of doing things because it means that every single highlight we get is kind of means something. Mbappe. Running through on goal. Can he finish it? Good save. I think this makes sense to keep it on key highs, but again, I'll give you your thoughts down in the comment section um, because I'm all about giving my, giving my viewers a chance to get their feedback. Messi kills it in. Cleared. It's going to fall to them, but that should never fall to them. should win that ball. Well, the kind of finger. That's better. Messi with a corner kick. Kills it in. Cleared in the box. So Asensio has got time to remain in control. Passing options are on. Akimi, Vratti. Oh, what a ball that is! That should have been a goal. That was a brilliant ball over the top. Messi kills it in. Kiki, he seemed like United score. Come on, he's been a goal, which is the women's team offside. Just letting get the ball too much now for my liking. But we are forcing long balls like that. Mokinos, Verratti, Bucano, Sensio, back to Verratti. Nice football. Lovely football. Lovely football. Just not quite got the finish there, unfortunately. But lovely football again. Nice nice movement, good awareness. Not one touch all the time, but I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to be careful with it, especially a little bit. But this game is now. Over. It's not how many. Can we get a few more goals? Really, that's what it's down to. Figic for um, Nice here. Kills it in, and they've got one back. That's not been a one. That's not been coming. But we've just not been at our level second half. But I'm gonna make changes anyway because I've got players looking a bit leggy here. Um, when the game lets me do it. Other way, please. Thank you. So we can come off, and we'll bring Neymar on. We're being Akimi off. Oh, I can't bring Akimi off. We're no right back. No right back, really. Menace can come off, though. And we'll go with that for now. Um, just disappointing, though, clean sheet. But we still should be okay to win this game. I hope. If we don't, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be absolutely spitting feathers. Uh, is it Barkley that scored as well? I'm not quite sure. Did, was Barkley's name come up? Yeah, I think it's him that scored it. No for kick here. Which is... This is... What I'm worried about with the fitness, I'm just trying to focus here because we seem to have let them get back into the game, but it's, it's a key highlight from a from a free kick. This is going to go in, isn't it? Get up. Yeah, we've just let the game slip a little bit the last few minutes, and that's not what I want to see. Never a free kick long range. 
again, Neymar just, I don't, I don't know what it is about him. I don't know what it is about him. I just don't feel like he's at it enough. And I don't know why he's actually interesting. I think he's, missed, missed, yeah, missed, I can say he's got, be, he's got to be offside. But full-time uh, form victory. Second half, not as good as the first, but overall, no real chances for the Nice other than that one opportunity from the goal they scored from and the free kick they had a decent attempt from as well. Good result. Um, still think we should ditch the very attacking thing. I don't think it's going to work long term, but I think it's something that I think that's a trade off. I think the trade off is if you go very attacking, you get the pressing a bit better and high up the pitch, but you then expend more fitness, and I think that's a trade off you've got to do. Um, I think, I think you've got to. I, I'm a, it's still not quite sure in my head if I'm right with this, but I think you've got to be even more aggressive with your rotation and have high, and have high stamina players to do it. Now you look at how many players we've got in midfield. For example, Kamavinga, he's got good. He's got 16 in stamina. I think he. I think. I think Ratti's not got good stamina, has he? No, no, he hasn't. Um, looking at who else? Who else we on the bench? Tumenji. Decent stamina. So I think it's it can work, but I still think it requires more experiments and research to figure out what makes sense. But you look at the goal scorers this season. Bappy scoring them all, uh, which is the common problem I have in my teams. Striker scoring all the goals, no one else. But anyway, next episode, let's we'll see what the fixtures look like. We update. There we go. So uh, one, two, three, four, and then Chelsea and Valentines, unless something else comes up, which I doubt it will. But unbeaten this season, only conceded one or two goals all season. That's great. Um, and we're scoring on average. We got on average about four goals a game, rather than. Rather than Every game we scored four or more in it, apart from two. Um, so that is encouraging, at least. So if you have enjoyed it, I hope you have hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Check out the Let's Be channel down below as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.